Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Right now you're looking at a chart of the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. As you can see, on Thursday we had uh, another down day. And the market was attempting uh, to get another leg up and we, we failed. As you can see, the last time we did that we locked in only for a day. But then after that we unlocked and we went higher. Now we've totally started to come down here. Question is going to be is are we going to break down below the support zone or are we going to continue uh, to head higher? And that's what we need to look at. Momentum is basically stalled here so that's not giving us a lot to go on. And when we look at any fundamental news, the FOMC situation is passed. Mm. We're now into the earnings season, and it's not looking so hot on either front. So for Friday's trading, we're looking at support at 1749 and a half, resistance at 1774 and a half. So we have a nice broad range there. Basically, <coughs> excuse me, you'd be looking for um, a breakout beyond those points in order to uh, reestablish an uptrend or to continue with this uh, downward correction. And we do have quite a way to go. We have first and second support areas to consider here. Um, the first support area to consider would be the 1749 half. The second area of support to look at would be the 1733 and three quarters area. And then, of course, our trend line support is at 1639. Uh, so quite a ways down um, if you're going to be looking uh, to play this. Let's see next. I would be looking at, <coughs> excuse me, on the long side for Friday, uh, look for long positions at the 1774 half level. On the, on the, the bottom side, I'll be looking to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> on the bottom side you're looking to, to get short at the 1749 half, so quite a range there, so basically you're probably going to be in the, end up on the sidelines, unless you're already holding a long position. If you're already still holding long positions, I would look to um, tighten up those stops, and I would put the stop at the, um, the 1749 level. Uh, just to be on the safe side. If we take that 1749 out, then like I said, the next support is at, the, at 33, and then um, it's quite a ways down from there, so you wouldn't want to be holding that long position past that point, okay? And that's something to keep um, in the back of your mind there uh, with the S&P. All right, taking a look at the crude oil, you can see that we have been coming down nicely here. You see the bear in the bottom right hand side of the screen. So not a lot has changed. We are continually uh, pressing uh, below. About to take out that um, that uh, weekly support area if 95.96, okay? Um, and your top side resistance now is at 98.61, okay? So, Intraday resistance 98.61 and support is at 95.96. All right. Uh, on the long side, if you're going to play, looking to play a reversal here, uh, long at 96.52 and short at 95.96. And we do still have a positive swing VIX, but we are <coughs> now losing the downside momentum. As you can see we were locked in all week on the negative side, okay? You see here. But now look, we're starting to give that up as of yesterday. So will Friday start the beginning of a bullish bar? Will we be able to make it this time? Last time we couldn't do it. Here on October the 3rd we couldn't do it. And then again we tried to lock in again on October the 7th through October the 8th and then we just gave up so again 
are we going to put in another leg down in the crude oil or are we going to stop here and is, is price going to start catching up with the positive swing VIX which leads the market three to five days out so only time will tell with the crude oil if that is going to be the case but that's how we look to play it on Friday okay uh, looking now at the gold uh, futures as you can see um, we right now have a negative swing VIX the market is moving with the negative swing VIX gaining some downward momentum here uh, we have not locked in though we have not relocked in the downtrend we are technically in the downtrend we've broken below the Kumo cloud you see the little bear in the bottom right hand side here but we are not officially um, locked in with the downward momentum yet so we could still stall and reverse at any moment got to keep that in mind all right downward trend channel here all right negative swing VIX red bars but we're not locked in just yet markets trying to but we just haven't just yet have to watch over the next couple of days but again you see the correction that we had and now we're topping out again we topped out here okay and this was on uh, September the 19th and then we just failed to take out this previous high here on the 19th of that that 1373 we failed we only got up to 1359 on October the 29th now we're falling down again all right so that's something new to think about okay now <clears throat> excuse me another thing to take note of too is the gap okay we we gapped from the 18th of September okay we closed at like 1307 and then on the 19th of September we opened at 1362 okay so 1307 1362 huge difference it's a gap then from the 19th on the 20th we gap down opening at 1347 closing at uh, 69 and opening at 47 so one gap here two gap here okay as you know gaps are always filled okay well technically speaking we did fill that gap okay you can make another argument that this double top here okay this fell top you could argue that it filled this last gap here when we gap down so that's all this was here was a filling of this gap it took a long time though look at this from the 20th to the 29th so a month before we came up and filled this gap right here and now we're heading back down again okay so what are we looking at well for today we have uh, support at 1317 and resistance at 1360 all right on the long and short of it looking to get long at 1360 and 40 cents looking to get short at 1317 and 40 cents all right and that's how you would play the gold for Friday our target on the downside as you pretty much well know is 1252 that's quite a way down all right that's where we're going that's where the trend line support is okay and prices are gonna rush there pretty quickly if we lock in that downward momentum again it, we, we could we could rush there in, in, a, in a hurry last time we locked in some momentum was back here on October the 7th and as you can see we broke down quickly I'm saying this is this is what's coming up again so we'll have to wait and see but that's how I would play uh, gold going into Friday okay and just a note of that okay finishing up now with silver as you can see silver is looking a little bit uh, rougher uh, than every than, than the gold does it's looking like it's breaking down a lot harder here um, one other thing I would note also is that as we're coming down here all right 
we are this because of the, the size and the weight of this downward uh, bar on Thursday. You know, we still got the bear. It's showing more promise. We have a nice locked in uh, downtrend channel, and you see we um, we came off of a locked in locking in on 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 this downtrend, but then we we came off of it again. I think we're probably going to lock back in on Friday. All right, and we're going to head toward this uh, trend line support here. So for Friday, trend line support is at 2064 in the silver, and I think that's where we're going to head. Uh, intraday support is at 2167. Resistance is at 2302. The long and short of it, looking to get long at 2273, looking to get short at 2167. We do have negative swing VIX, nice downtrend channel. Price is moving along with that, and we could pick up some momentum here uh, as we get cooking on the downside with this. We have a long way to go um, to the downside, a lot more room, okay? So keep a lookout for that. Barring some unforeseen event, I just don't see anything more we can do. We've been coming off here, okay? And looking at September the 19th again, where we gapped up and gapped down just like the gold did, identical movement. Um, here we filled that gap, okay? You can measure it here from this line here, see? You can measure it across, see? Here we go. All right, filled it. And now we're heading back down again. So remember, take what you can and give nothing back. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Vulcan Report.